right, this is really where it all begins. This is a uh, an ESC pan former. Uh, it'll run different width pans, and it will also run virtually any length pan uh, that you can imagine. The coils come hundreds of feet long. The uh, the machine runs a panel that has a male and a female end interlock and later in the film you'll see exactly how they do interlock. The metals that we keep in stock are a 26 gauge and a 28 gauge. This machine is capable of uh, bending a metal as heavy as 22 gauge, uh, 030 to aluminum and, um, and, and much lighter metals as well. The machine is also portable. A lot of customers will uh, ask for pans that are well over what our trucks are able to carry. Um, the only disadvantage for us to moving this to a job site is that so much dirt and debris could end up inside the machine. It would be kicked up off the tires, off the road, off the highway. and. Um, could do some damage to the chromium rollers that are inside this machine that make this panel. So we can take it on the road. Do we like to take it on the road? No, we do not. So, in order to start, a, again, a simple pen roof like this, and I'm not professing to be an expert on metal roofing. There's, there's many different ways that people do this. Uh, this is just one way that is a, an industry proven method to do it. Uh, some guys have been doing this for years and years and years have their own methods, but we have to find the center of this roof, uh, and this is a 96 inch wide sheet. So I know that the center of my roof is 48 inches. Each one of these panels are a 17 inch exposure. I don't know, can you paint it? Thank you. So from here to here, the 17 inches. And we'll want to measure over from the center portion of this roof area. 17 inches for one panel, 17 inches for the next panel, and that leaves us with a 14 inch panel that we have to cut. And that, that way I'll have a, uh, a seam down the middle, a se an equal seam here, an equal seam, and a, uh, a, the same amount of material at this end of the roof as I will on this end of the roof. So everything would be symmetrical. Similar to a railing system where your balusters are symmetrical. You have the same area shown on that end as you would on this end. So now we have to take this panel and uh, cut it from, cut the width for one thing, but I also have to cut the height. In order to cut this height, I have to determine what I need from the even roof to the uh, ridge of the roof. So I'm going to need to have my first piece of trim. We, uh, we tried to make the trims in different colors to make them obvious as to what they were. This is an eave trim. It's very similar to uh, a regular F4.5 uh, roof edging, a shingle edging. So we're going to put this piece of drift edge on. Point, I can now determine what my height of my panel is going to be from the ridge or the uh, end wall down to the edge of that drip edge is 49 
and three quarters. Uh, I have to leave my panel three quarters of an inch longer. So 49 and three quarters plus three quarters would be 40 or 50 and a half. So I want to cut my panel to 50 and a half inches. Uh, the cutting process as well as the hemming process which we go into can all be accomplished on the ground. A couple saw horses to set up your material. A pair of shims. cut the length. My next concern is to put a hem on the bottom edge of that panel so that hem will come and snaps onto my edge, my eave trim, or my drip edge. So I take a three quarter inch cut and that's all I'm doing is taking the upright seams off leaving a flat piece of metal that I can hem. It will slide onto the end of the metal. It will butt to my three quarter inch cuts and then it gets folded under. So it leaves a nice straight factory edge. Once that's done, I can take my panel and cut it lengthwise to give me that that amount of metal that I need to start this this pent roof with. Now at this point I can take my snips I've measured them over 14 inches from that one edge of the pent. We're going to cut right down the line to cut this panel. I've, we've, I've actually cut it 14 and 3 quarters. We've left an, an additional 3 quarters on this side of the panel and that will be to accommodate our number 15 rake edge. I'm going to apply the rake edge now and then uh, we'll put the, another hem on this panel. All right, at this point I have a trim. Again, it's popular with uh, the gable trim, a gable, a gable finish and it's a number 15 drip edge. We made this in another color again so that it's fairly obvious but we're gonna, I'm going to apply this uh, to this pen roof and then we'll show you why this panel needed an extra leg bent on that one side. So Beautiful. Number 15 drip edge. 